Hello everyone, I am Mahima Bhardwaj from Bioinformatica. In this video, we will learn about the basis of sequence similarity and identity. Let's get started. The very first term arises is sequence. When we google the term sequence, it tells us that it is an arrangement of two or more related things in a successive order. Now when we talk about related things, here these are DNA, RNA or protein. We can easily visualize these three of them. Second term is sequence alignment. In bioinformatics, sequence alignment is a way of arranging the sequence of DNA, RNA or protein to identify regions of similarity and identity that may be consequence of functional, structural or evolutionary relationships between the sequences. So the alignment of biological sequence is probably the most important and most accomplished in the field of bioinformatics. Here in the photograph, one can easily identify mismatched base pair, that's A. Now what is sequence similarity and sequence identity? For nucleotide sequence, that is DNA or RNA, both words have same meaning. When we have a statement, two DNA sequences can share a high degree of sequence identity or similarity. This means the same. When we talk about protein sequences, both words sequence similarity and identity have different meanings of it. What is identity in case of protein sequences? It is the percentage of exact match between two aligned sequences. And what similarity means is the percentage of aligned residues that share similar characteristics. A chain of amino acids which form protein structure is shown in the picture below. What do we understand with similar characteristics? Proteins are grouped into several characters like small, hydrophobic, polar, negative, positive, tiny, aliphatic, aromatic, essential. These are several characters in which proteins have been classified. So similar characteristics would be shown as the proteins showing same characters like negative aspartate and glutamate both shows negative behavior as far we are aware of terms sequence similarity and identity there is a question for you if given two se three sequences a b and c and if a is equal to b b is equal to c then would a be equal to c pause the video Think about the question and if you get the correct answer, tell us in the comment section below. Let's see the answer. Let strand A B A A G G C T T, strand B B A A G G C, whereas strand C B A A G G C A T. Here both strand A and B shows 100% identity. How? Five identical nucleotides divide by minimum length of A or B that would be 5 so it gives us 100% identity whereas strand B and C also shows 100% identity but when we talk about A and C identity of A and C is 85% it is because of it has 6 identical nucleotides divide by 7 that is minimum length of A or C so 100% identity does not mean two sequence are exactly same. How sequence alignment is done? We can align two or more sequences. Alignment of two sequences would be termed as pairwise alignment, whereas alignment of more than two sequences would be termed as multiple sequence alignment. We will study about it in our upcoming videos, so stay tuned. Okay. For now, we, are, we have been studying about sequence alignment. Why sequence alignment? Why is it important to align the sequences? First is gene finding. When we talk about gene finding, having identified all 
ORF's open reading frames of a genome can be used their lens to estimate the probability of actually constituting genes. These are ab initio methods. On the other hand, if there is a gene from another organism with a good alignment with the ORF found there is a strong evidence that this ORF is a gene. Second would be function prediction. We talked about similarity. So if the alignment of sequences determines two genes similar, this way if the first function of these genes or protein sequences is known, we can assign the same function as the second sequence. Third would be genome sequence assembly. The de novo assembly is a very important task in bioinformatics. It is based on the alignments between short DNA sequences obtained by a new generation sequences. One of the main application of sequence alignment is the identification of homologous genes. Now let's learn about homology. Both sequence identity and similarity are used to deduce homology. Homology has a specific definition that is having a common evolutionary ancestor. Therefore, sequence are either homologous or not. Homology is a qualitative description of the relationship and should never be expressed as percentage homology. So, homology can be defined as the study of similarities between organisms to determine common ancestors based on genes, physiology or development. While preparing for the video, I had a doubt in my head. Do identical twins have identical DNA? Do they share identical amount of DNA? If you have any idea about it, please let us know in the comment section below. Hope you have utilized your time and learned something from this video. Any queries would be answered in the comment section. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Click on the bell icon to stay notified.